This is video 19 from the English Cafe Club. Sometimes I make these videos because somebody asks me to specifically explain something to them. Sometimes something comes into my head. And other times, like today, I realize I'm hearing the same mistake, there's the same confusion, time and time again. Ten minutes ago, somebody left my house and said to me, Ian, thanks for all is wrong. They should say thanks for everything. And I realize many people have the problem with this when do you say everything and when do you say all. It's very simple. The word all is actually a number. Look at this. One of my fingers, two of my fingers, three of my fingers, four of my fingers, all of my fingers. Yeah, I know there's five, but there are no more left. So it's all of my fingers. The word all is actually used like a number. The same as none. One of my fingers, two of my fingers, three of my fingers, four of my fingers, five of my fingers, none of my fingers. They are numbers. We use them instead of numbers. So you can't say thanks for all because you're not... Mm. You have to say all of the fingers, or all of my hands, or all of my hair. It can be countable and not countable. You don't have to be able to count it, but it is a number, it's a quantity. When do you use everything? There's an example here. Let's be religious for the moment. Those of you who know me, I'm not particularly religious, but let's just say that God created everything. God created everything. That's all of the things, all of my fingers, all of my hands, all of my hair, all of the blackboards. God created everything. He created, and now here is when the word all comes in. God created all of the stars, all of the clouds, all of the planets in the solar system, in the universe, in the galaxy. He created all of those different planets and moons and satellites and asteroids. He created the fish, all the fish in the sea. He created all the continents. He created all the oceans. He created all the lakes. We can count them. One, two, three, four, five. The great lakes in North America. There are many more lakes around the world. So when you can count it, you use the word all. Or when you want a quantity, you use the word all. But when you want to say, when you want to include lots of different types of things together, you have to say everything. So we don't just use everything when we're talking about God and creating everything. For instance, you have a bag and you put in a bottle of water, two sandwiches, some money, a towel, some sunglasses. You put everything in a bag. All those different things you can count, you put them in a bag. You have everything, all your possessions. You see, all your possessions. I can count possessions. My sunglasses, my sandwiches, my drink. You can count those things. So I put all my possessions in a bag, so I have everything in a bag. That's it. Try to remember the finger thing. That's the best way. None of my fingers, one of my fingers, two of my fingers, four of my fingers, all of my fingers. All, everything. I hope that everything is clear now. Bye-bye.